Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Task Scheduler 0x1 error you might be getting, which I believe is an incorrect function call in the Task Scheduler area or Task Scheduler library of Windows. So usually this error would be caused by insufficient privileges or errors that could be stemming from the task. So we're going to go over how to resolve this error pretty quickly. It shouldn't take us very long. So we're going to jump right into it by heading over to the start menu. And we are going to search up task scheduler. Should be listed as a desktop app on Windows 10. Windows 8 and earlier should not have desktop app here. So just want to left click to open it up. So I'm going to blow this thing up full screen, and then I'm going to go underneath the task schedule or library on the left side. So just picking any random task here, specifically in your case you would do the one that you're receiving the error with. You want to double click on it. I noticed that the error seems to be more common when you have run whether the user is logged on or not. I would try changing to run only when users logged on first. Try doing that and then click on OK to save. If that does not resolve the error, then you can go up to the Actions tab. Of course, after you've restarted the application and everything. But if that does not work, you can go up to the Actions tab at the top. You want to left click on the action that says Start a Program. In most cases, there should only be one action listed here. So it makes it pretty easy. So you're going to left click on the Edit button at the bottom. Okay, so now what you want to do is you see the program script. You want to copy everything up until the executable. So basically you're just trying to try and copy the path here. And you do not want to take the last backslash before the executable. So we're going to ignore this slash right here, including the OneDrive standalone updater.exe in my case. So I'm going to ignore all of this, including this backslash. It's very important and I'm just going to copy the rest of this just like you normally would copy and paste and what we're going to do is we're going to paste it into the area that says start in optional and you're going to right click inside this area click paste or control V whatever you prefer and then you're going to hit OK inside this window to confirm your setting change and then at this point you can click on OK to get out of that window try and run the task again and hopefully it has been resolved for you guys so, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.